Hello, today we are going to make a hamster mask for our hamster project. So let's go to my room. Hamsters are small type animals which they are involved in the rodent family and they are the excellent pet. First, to be able to begin an experiment, we need to tame our hamsters by using classical counter conditioning while they are in the cage. We place our hand beside them to make them used to our smell. We then put the food on to the hand and wait for them to take the food from our hand. At this point, they are quite used to us, so we take them from the cage and play with them on our hand. We need to be as gentle as possible, so the hamster won't be freaked out. Try to feed them again, but this time on our hand. Our research question is, can we stimulate the hamsters with the sign on the paper for them to run the maze? The design of the maze is based on the multiple T maze, which is a combination of many T letters together. The reason multiple T maze design is chosen is because it has clear right or wrong answer, so we can measure which way that the hamster choose. We also have a practicing maze, which has only one T letter, also called simple T maze. Our maze is mainly made by FutureBot and also the reason that we chose FutureBot is because it is waterproof it will be easy to clean up when the hamster pee or poop In teaching part we will use a simple tea maze for teaching the hamster. We will let the hamster run into the maze, which both ways will have doors for hamster to run through, in which one side will lead to the food and the exit, while another will lead to the deadlock. Which the way to the food and exit will have a red dot on the door. However, the way to the deadlock will not have anything on the door. By using this method, the hamster will Slowly notice that the red dot will lead to the food and the exit. Now, it is time for the experiment, which we will let both hamsters consist of control and experimental group experience the maze which we will let the control group run in the maze for four trial first then followed by the experimental group however in the trial number three and four we will re reverse the maze by swapping the entrance and the exit the control group is less active and show the sign of fear while in the maze as you can see that the four round in the maze of the control group hamsters. They will mostly spending their time to stay still. However, by the time passes, the hamster is starting to move toward the exit of the maze. Due to the fact that they are getting used to the maze. So this makes them become less stressful and fearful. Thus, this enhances them to run toward the exit. However, they are showing many of the error while they are in the maze. about the learning of hamster. 
hamster can remember the route if it used to complete it in various times, so it will make our result not stable. Therefore, we decided to switch the entrance and the exit after the second trial. Also, in the reverse mode, the control book does show the errors. However, in this time, it is more active, which means that they are trying at their best to finding the way out. After we have done the experiment with the control book hamster, we then record all of the data into the table, as you can see in the figure that will appear in the next moment. So this is the data table of our experiment for the maze number one, uh, so called as normal maze, the control group hamster. For the first trial, the time that have been used up was 146 seconds and 3 errors occurred. For the second trial, the time that have been used was 385 seconds but the errors have been decreased to 2 errors. And for the maze number 1 reverse which also called as the, the reverse maze, the control group hamster run the third trial which take time for 323 seconds with 5 errors and for the last trial the time have taken for 147 seconds but the errors just only 3 for the experimental group since it has been practiced so it not only can solve the maze faster than the control group, but it also shows neither sign of fear nor stress. As we can see from all of the four trials of the experimental group, that there are no error occurs during the four trials of the experimental group. In the next step, we then record all the data into the table, as you can see in the figure. So for the data table of the experimental group hamster, the first trial, the time has been taken for 49 seconds with no errors, and the second trial for 20 seconds with no errors. As for the reverse maze, the, four, the third trial take time 26 seconds with no error and the fourth trial with 13 seconds with no error which it clearly show that the hamster has learned that the red point will leading it toward the exit so in conclusion as you can see in both experiments we can stimulate the hamster by using of picture to train them to solve the maze However, we can use time as a variable to measure the successful of operant conditioning in the experiment since the hamster without training is scared of the maze and that takes time. On the other hand, we can use of the amount of errors as a variable. Therefore, we can conclude that we can use of picture to stimulate the learning process of the hamster since there are no error occurred.